Hey guys, it's Lofi, your favorite piece of bread. And in today's video, we're actually taking a look at a pretty odd video, if I have to say so myself. Uh, it's by a creator with the, the greatest name ever. Uh, I think it's somewhere along the lines of Freely Banana Girl 2. Uh, which, I mean, th that name alone is some top quality name. Uh, and this person has a video... Uh, Basically, you're basically saying that if you eat meat, you're you're a horrible person and, and you need to die. Uh, so well, let's let's get right into the video and uh, and and just look at what this uh, crazy person, feminist, veganist person uh, is talking about. <laughs> So I just woke up and I was thinking about something in bed, which I think about quite often, and that's whether people who continue to eat meat and dairy, even though they know the impact of their diet choices on the planet, on the animals, they've watched earthlings, they know the facts, they've been educated, but they choose to continue eating animal products. Whether they actually deserve to continue living. Ah yes, I too find myself waking up in the morning thinking about if people that eat meat should uh, continue living or not. I mean, um, I, I think that everybody has this thought. I mean, little Jimmy eating his chicken nuggets uh, from McDonald's, you know, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know if he should continue living. Uh, may, maybe if he would just throw the chicken nuggets in the in the trash can and just pick up them potato fries. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I just don't think it's, it's really it's something I think we all uh, think about. And that might be like so extreme sounding to you. So yes, yes it is. It's very extreme and um, a little crazy and childish to think this way, uh, if I do say so myself. I mean, yes, we all have different opinions and yes, you can have different opinions than other people. Uh, but I, I just don't think that someone's life is um, debatable when it comes to their diet. Uh, especially when you're saying that if you eat meat, you are hurting the environment, so you deserve to die. That in itself is kind of a redundant statement, saying that you should not harm other, like, other living animals. And if you do harm other living animals, you should die. Um, if you're trying to minimize the destruction of animals and try to keep peace within a certain standard I really just don't think this is the look that you're trying to uh, create uh, this is just what I think and I don't think we should kill little Jimmy for eating chicken nuggets but uh, what do I know I am a 14 year old with a uh, pirated license to an editing software dramatic but I gotta break it to you we live in an extreme dramatic world Okay, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, since we live in a, an extreme and dramatic world, it's okay to kill little Jimmy because he's he's dining on his quality chicken nuggets from McDonald's. <laughs> I guess I guess all the Kyles are gone now too because they're dinosaur chicken nuggets. You know what, just everybody, <laughs> just Thanos snap everybody out of existence because because we live in an extreme and dramatic world. That is that is the greatest excuse I've heard from a vegan on why they sh should be able to. I don't eat. Okay, this is why I can't take a lot of vegans seriously because you got people like this lady who's saying, "Kill all who uh, eat meat and or drink dairy products or basically anybody that consumes anything from a uh, animal." Bad. And I know there's a lot of unicorn huggers out there, you unicorn huggers who are like, oh, Freely, you're so negative, you always focus on the negative, oh, Freely, be more positive, Freely this, Freely that, oh my god, you, you know, you create your own reality, Freely, and you- And to those who say that you create your own reality, I have no choice but to agree with them because I don't know in what backwards home you grew up in or what kind of fantasy world do you- live in or how high of a chair you're on or how far a stick is shoved up your butt to think that you have the right to decide if someone lives or not based on their diet. I, I, I just can't fathom 
what went wrong in your childhood for you to say, um, yes, let's kill literally everybody that, um, you know, just consumes anything or takes anything, um, that is related to animals. And yes, I do understand that slaughterhouses exist and that these things are existing, but the way I look at it is we're all animals and, um, you know, it happens all the time in the circle of life. Uh, we're s superior. It's, um, basically that one thing where it's, uh, natural selection, our brains were larger and more expandable and we had opposable thumbs we were able to outsmart these kind of dumb animals and take advantage of them to provide us food so we're not in fields being nomadic little people running through fields and across the country hunting down these pack of deer because we were smart enough to evolve and make our own slaughterhouses and it's kind it's cruel yes i will admit that i do not agree with some of these practices but it's just how life is and if you really want to get into it the plants you eat have pesticides on them which a little rabbit can come along nibble on this little carrot that has pesticides on it and it will die which it goes against your message um to anybody that's actually watched this video before there's a big section of it that i have to um well, I don't really have to cut out, but I am because she says a lot of naughty words and puts a lot of pictures up on the screen that I don't think Susan would take too kindly to. So just, uh, just a little word of it, uh, not really advice, just a little forewarning. And we need to bring attention to it to make a positive change. That's what's positive about the focus of, you know, animal rights activists and people. And people who say that we should kill other people for, uh, um, living free for, for uh, taking advantage of the little thing we have called uh, free will uh, here in the US which is a pretty cool thing and uh, a lot of people fought for it so uh, yeah disregard that completely planets and focus on these negative things to turn them into positives so ignoring that stuff is not being positive it's not being enlightened it's just being ignorant uh, I guess you could call eating meat and overall just consuming uh, products from other animals being ignorant, even though it, I don't see it as being ignorant. Um, if you know what the, you're doing to the environment, you're making the conscious decision to eat or drink that stuff. It's not really being ignorant, but I guess in a sense it is. Um, you're being completely ignorant to the fact that, uh, yet again, in a lot of places, uh, not a lot of places, but here in the U.S., we have this little thing called free will, which basically says that you can't be done, you can't be forced to do something, uh, that would, you can't be forced to do something as long as it's not bringing harm to another person. And last time I checked, a cow was not a person. So you can't force me to vegan, nor can I force you to be um, not a vegan. We just have to agree to disagree. So it's important to make that distinction. And am I being too extreme? And yes, it does include family members of mine who actually continue eating meat and dairy. And I love them very much. But we are in this situation where drastic change needs to happen and people aren't serious enough and if they if their position on the planet was threatened because of their dietary choices they would change to vegan in a heartbeat and with this statement that if someone or your position of the planet was uh, threatened by your dietary choices I would definitely change them and become a vegan but in the same sense if there was no other choice to but to eat meat and no vegetables to keep yourself alive you would jump on that 
and keep on eating that meat because you want to live. Either way, and you can't just disregard this statement and say it's not valid because it's different. Because these are the same thing. If there's no one can survive off eating plants because there's no plants around, you have to eat meat to survive, you're going to eat the meat. And the glorious thing about living in a first world country is we have these choices. Eat as many plants as you want. You're the same as a guy who eats 14 McDonald's cheeseburgers a day. That's the beautiful thing about living in a first world country. We have these choices. So this is the end of the video, and I am very sorry that uh, if the tone was very different, I tried to keep it lighthearted, but as she kept on going on, it made me very angry. Um, but yeah, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, because you have the free will to do that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and if you're not, uh, just tell a friend to subscribe to me. Uh, road to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Instagram is in the description. I don't really post there very often, but uh, it helps me out. Uh, it makes me valid. I can validate my self worth. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. Uh, don't force people to be vegan, and don't force people not to be vegan. Um, and have a wonderful day.